Let's build a strong random password generator with Flutter. First of all, you define all the characters that you want to include within your generated password, such as uppercase letters, lowercase letters, numbers, and also special characters. Also define how many characters your generated password should have, so in this case 20 characters. And lastly, we want to generate then our random password, therefore we create here a field and inside of this field we put then all the characters inside that should be included within our generated password and we simply start here only with the uppercase letters for now. And lastly, we create then based on our length that we want to generate a list and here I put then the length inside, so we create a list of 20 entries. And for each of these entries, we want to create then a random index first of all. And our random index should have then a length of maximum 25 characters. So we generate here a number between 0 and 25. And this is because we have right now put here all the characters inside of the alphabet, which are then in total 26 characters. So all in all, we have now with this index random a number between 0 and 25 and now we can access here any letter from this list. Therefore, we simply access here our shars list, which is here our letters uppercase. And then we access with our random index one random character within our string. And lastly, we want to convert then our list that we have generated with 20 characters back to a string object. And therefore, you simply go here to the end of the list and type join. And with this, it will then join the whole list and create then a string. And now we can try it out. So if I click here on this button, he will always generate a random password. And this consists then only of uppercase letters, because for now we have only put here inside of this shars field uppercase letters inside. To generate a more secure password, you can take here this random secure constructor. And with this, the number that is here generated is more secure and more random. So all in all, it doesn't change then anything to the generated output, only the index is more secure generated. Next, we want to generate a stronger random password. Therefore, you simply need to include here within this chars field more letters. So in this case, we have 26 letters because we only take here these uppercase letters. So you can also include here the lowercase letters, which are then again 26 characters. And now if I generate here a password, you will see that also we have here now lowercase letters within our password. To make your password even stronger, you also can include here within the chars field numbers. And now if we click here on this generate password field, you see that here also generates here numbers inside of the password. And lastly, we also want to include here some special characters that you can define within the string. And here we simply add then also the special characters to our shars field. And with this, if we generate here a password, you will see that he also puts here then special characters inside. And of course, you can also change here then the length of the generated password. So let's, for example, put the length to 8. And now if we generate here a password, then this password has a length of 8. Let's also make our generate password method more convenient. Therefore, you can add here some Boolean fields, has letters, has numbers and has special characters. And with this, if you later call this generate password method, you can then decide if your password should have numbers included or special characters or even letters. And to make this work, you need to go then here to the different lines where you include here the different letters and special characters. And if this has letters field is set to true, then we want to include here also these letters in lowercase and uppercase. If this has number is set to true, then we want to include here also numbers. And lastly, if this has special characters is set to true, then we also want to include here our special characters. And now if I click here on this generate password method, you will see that he only includes letters because we have only set this here to true. Next, we want to create here this UI of this password generator together. So we can always include here a button and we also can click here on this one to copy the password to our clipboard. Let's get started by going to our build method and here within the scaffold body property, we want to create then a column to display multiple widgets under each other. And within this column, you can then create first of all the text which says random password generator. And under this text, we want to create then a text field. So we have here a normal text field where we later want to put our generated password inside. And to do this, we need to also include here a controller. And therefore we go here to our state 
and here we create then a new text editing controller and we also override here the dispose method to clean our controller again up in cases which it is not needed anymore. And lastly, we go back to our build method and under our text field, we want to create then also here a button. Therefore, I create a new method build button. And inside of this method, we create then an elevated button with the text generate password. And with this, we have here this normal button and we also want to give it here a different style. Therefore, I define here the button style and I set then a background color. And we want to define that our background color should be here a color of black. And therefore you can use this material state color. And with this you have then here access to the different states of the button. And in case the state is then pressed, which means if we press on the button, then we want to have here this pink color. Otherwise we always want to have this black color. And now you see that our button has here by default this black color that we have defined. And if we then press on this button, then it will turn to this pink color. All right, and finally, we want to implement the functionality inside of this on press handler. So if we click on this button, then we want to generate a new password. To do this, we simply call then this method generate password, which we have created before. So we call it and then we get here a string back, which is our password. And lastly, we put this generated password then inside of our text field. And therefore we put our password to this controller text and this controller is then linked to our text field. And now we can try it out. So if I click here on this button, you will see that he always generate our password and puts it also to the text field. And again, if you want to generate a stronger password, then you simply go here to this method generate password. And here you could then also put all the default values to true if you like. So by default, you have a really strong password generated. And now if I click here on this generate password button, you see that we have every time here a password with special characters included and also numbers. And finally, we also want to create this copy to clipboard button. And if we click on this button, then the password is copied to our clipboard. And we also show here a snack bar. To implement this functionality, we go to our build method and here we go then to our text field widget, which is here this text field widget on the right side. And here inside we want to set first of all this field to a read only flag to true because right now I can here put some letters inside so I can modify this text field. However, if you set this flag here to true, then you cannot type here anymore inside. And secondly, we want to change here the decoration of this text field and therefore we want to set first of all this outline border around and secondly, we want to include here then a suffix icon and here we define then this copy icon button. And now we also have here this button and if we click on this button, then we simply want to copy here our password to the clipboard. To achieve this, we simply go to our on press handler and here we put then our controller text inside to our clipboard. So all in all, we copy already the password to our clipboard if we click on this button. And secondly, we also want to create then a snack bar and within the snack bar, we want to define then here this text password copied. And we also set then here another background color for our snack bar. And with this, we can generate here any password and then we click on this button and he will then copy the password to our clipboard. And by the way, if you want to get here this whole source code of this application, then you can get it with the first link in the description. And with the second link, you can get access to my Flutter courses where I teach you how you can become a better and more efficient developer. And if you like this video, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Mm -hmm.